Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our Road to Glory run with Banbury United FC. And we have gotten this season off to an excellent start. However, we did just lose our last game. It was a close one, but we did lose it, so hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in game. As you can see from the schedule, lots of green dots, lots and lots of green dots. Although we did lose this game against Kingsland. The last game you guys saw was the Buxton game. Uh, we then went up against Nuneaton Borough, beat them four to two with a pair of goals from Stevens and a pair of goals from Babos. Uh, we then went up against Altrincham and beat them six to three with two hat tricks. Coyote picking up a hat trick and Pol uh, Pollock picking up a hat trick in this game. So good stuff there. Uh, then our game against Blythe here was a close one. Close one that we took at the very, very end. We got a 73rd minute goal from Babos to take the lead. Uh, we also got a goal from Riley and a goal from Thomas in this game for all, all three of our um, midfielders picking up goals in this game. Then we just had the game against Kingsland literally two days ago. So that's a lot of our guys are pretty tired today. So hopefully we can get through this one. Uh, we did get a goal from Babos and a goal from Coyote in, the, in this one. But they picked up an 86 minute game stealer. Uh, to take the win. Very, very unfortunate there. We played him hard. Uh, we had a much higher XG. Um, I think we had a th almost a 3.0 XG, and they had like a 1.5. So we played well. Just just they got the goals to fall. So like I said, hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. But overall, I think we're doing okay. So let's get into this game against Bradford PA, uh, followed by Kidderminster. Bradford PA is currently 12th. Uh, Kidderminster currently 6th. Of course, we are currently 2nd place, uh, right behind Darlington, who has... Uh, they, they, I was going to say they hadn't uh, missed a beat, but they did just draw a game as well. Uh, we lost, they draw, so both of us having a little bit of a trouble recently. Uh, how's uh, how's our friends, where are they at? Buxton, they were there. Down in 10th place, so they're they're hanging in there. So, All right, let's get into this game. Here is the team we're bringing today. We got uh, Terrell in a goal. Uh, this is actually the first game for him. Uh, we've been playing with Hall, but Hall's been having the last couple games as he's been getting up lots of goals. So we're going to give Terrell a chance to start today. Uh, Bailey comes on the left. Sharif comes on the right. Roberts and Sears in the middle. Pinchard as our left center midfielder. Jewett White as a right central midfielder. And Riley as our ball winning midfielder in his normal spot. Pollock on the left. Uh, 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 tank, attacking forward? Advance forward. I forget what their are now. So advance forward. Pollock as the le left advance forward. Uh, Akute as the right advance forward. And Coyote is in his usual spot as our pressing forward. Just out of curiosity, would he prefer to be something else? Mm, nah, he should be fine. So let's get into this and see if we can hang on here. Turn the fan noise back on. Got to get the cheering going for us. Definitely should be winning this game. We we really should be winning this game. But I mean, we saw what we did in the last game, so here is hoping. We've been playing really, really well. Even in the lost, we've been playing extremely, extremely well. Goal kick for Bradford. There's Sears getting his head on that one. Coyote's picking it up. Uh, gets it taken away immediately. Here comes Bradford PA on the attack. Come on, guys. Sears is waiting there for it. Terrell's able to catch that one, though. He kicks it deep. None of our players were there. Oh, okay. I was going to say, <laughs> we had a striker run past the defense, but their goalkeeper was... Waiting for it. Uh, we're going to be able to catch this one. Nope. He's going to wait and let the defender get it, unfortunately. Oh, good save by Terrell. Terrell? Ter Terrell? Terrell. We're going to go with Terrell. <laughs> I don't know if I care. Truth be told, I don't care if I mispronounce things. Don't care really at all. At some point, you just got to settle into a pronunciation and just say, yep, that's good enough. All right, Pollock with the ball. It's kind of a dumb play there, but he gets it right back. Good job there. Making up for his mistake. Roberts with it now. Kicks it up. Coyote is able to get on this one, maybe. Yes, he is. Pinchard. Pinchard, I should say. I said Pinchard. Pinchard. Picking up a goal from the assist from Coyote. Second goal for Pinchard of the season. Really needed it right then, to be honest. I felt like we were getting some pressure on the other end. Let's go down the other side and uh, show them where what real pressure looks like. Yeah, good stuff, guys. All right, keep it up. Yeah, they've had five shots, too, on target. So they're definitely, definitely playing well. 
The goal kick for the Bradford PA goalkeeper. Pollock able to pick this one up. He's going to get it through to Okude. Yes. Oh, that's his first, isn't it? No. He wasn't offsides, was he? Oh, my goodness. Oh, well. Come on, guys. Let's get one more cushion goal, because they're playing well enough that one goal is definitely not going to be enough for us, I don't think. Robert's picking this one up. Deep kick up. Pollock is there. Is he able to get on it? He is. He's got a couple guys in the middle. He's going to try to do it himself. Not necessarily the most wise play, I would say. Uh, who do we want to swap out here? Probably want to get Riley out of here on his um, yellow card. And then we want to get... Honestly, we want to get Sharif out, but I don't know that we have anybody that can play on the right. We do have Fleming and Jacob. Jacob can actually play both sides. He's a little bit tired. He's more tired than Fleming, but I think we're going to need his his uh, skill a bit more here. So we're going to give him the shot. Don't normally play him on the right-hand side, but I really need him to get in there and hopefully take over. Get us a little bit of extra lift there. If we were up two to go, nothing, I would have I would have gone with uh, Fleming. I mean, truth be told, we might have to bring Fleming in here anyway for Sears. No. Do we have anybody coming for Jewett White? We don't. It's really just a striker swap here. So Akuta comes out. Uh, Rec can come in here. Come on, guys. Just hold on. A little bit longer. Come on, guys. All right, throwing coming from Jacob. Jewett White's there to pick it up. Gets it across. Kawadi. Kawadi. Kawadi's there. Thomas, what a attempt. I think that was heading for that top left corner. So it was a good save by the goalkeeper there. Uh, corner kick coming in from Kawadi. Come on. Pollock is there. Not able to get on that one. Jewett White's able to pick it up, though. He's going to get over here. Get across to Rhett. Trey's going to get tripped up. Not going to be a penalty. Jacob's going to chase that one down. Only a couple minutes left of this game. Can we hold on to a 1-0 victory? We can. Not a pretty victory, but a victory nonetheless. So we will take it. After coming off that defeat, I'm glad we did not turn around and drop another one. Uh, anybody we want to praise? Not really, honestly. Anybody we want to criticize? Sears didn't do well. Uh, Okute did not do well. And that's about it. So I'll go with that and celebrate the win. Uh, we are now officially in first place ahead of Darlington. I mean, before we'd been in first place, but we were tied with Darlington on points. Uh, well, now we are clearly ahead of them. So that is a good thing. The next game coming up in, what, five days? So hopefully you guys get, can get a little bit of rest between now and then because we did just play two games very, very close together. So we'll be right back in just a moment for our next game against Kidderminster. All right, we're back for our next game here against Kidderminster. Uh, here is the team we're bringing. We got Terrell back in goal still. Bailey on the left, Hickman on the right, Roberts and Sears in the middle. Pinchard on the left, midfield. Babos on the right, and Sharif coming in as the ball-winning midfielder. Stevens comes in as the advance forward on the left. Akute comes in the advance forward on the right. And Re comes in as our pressing forward in place of Kuwaiti, who needs some rest right now. So we'll see if this team is good enough to get past uh, Kidderminster. I think they are good enough. I mean, definitely is a little bit of a drop in our overall, but uh, we can't keep playing our guys. We got we got to protect them. That's it's a we're playing a full season, so we. I mean, <laughs> obviously it's logical, but we just uh, we can't we can't play it like play our best guys all the time. We've got to play a mixture of guys. There's Red with the ball, trying to get it through, not able to get anything going there. Uh, and here it comes, Kittermister on the attack. Come on, guys. Oh, don't give him an easy one. That's just dumb. That's just dumb. Give him an easy one like that. Really dumb play. Palmer with the go kick. 
There's Nicholson on from. Oh my goodness, is this gonna be one of those games where they just get sh they get every shot they they shoot? You see these sometimes where that's just three goals in first 15, 20 minutes, and it makes no sense that you know, like something something crazy going on, you know. There's another goal, I'm guessing. Yep, here we go. Yep, I was going to say. And here it comes. I don't have an explanation for why. Like, how does this... How does this happen? Like, why... Like, this happened a couple, a couple times last season with Buxton. And it's just... Uh, I don't know. It's not completely logical. There's, there's nothing... Nothing wrong with the team. Nothing wrong with the formation. Nothing wrong with what we're doing. We're obviously... I think we're definitely a better team than Kidderminster. Um, it's just, you know, they get three shots, three three goals. I mean, that's... Every once in a while this happens. It's like a weird, like... I don't know. It's almost like the other team gets a... Hey, you know, uh, the, the player is getting a little too good at this. Let's let's get a... Let's give the uh, AI just a little bit of a buff here. A little bit of a cheat. <laughs> and it's like, that's what it feels like. All right, we got to get back in this somehow. So are we, do we have... No, we don't. We don't want to get stuck in. Turned on. We're already on trigger press. We're already on counter press. We'll go with that. See if we can get... Shake them up a little bit. Yeah, it's just... It's like something... Something weird changes, and I don't have an explanation for it. I don't have an explanation for it at all. We are we are not a 4 to nothing in 36-minute team. We are not. It's just... This is what cost us our job at Buxton. No logical reason. I mean, I just need to shake it off and just accept that every once in a while you get royally FM'd. Uh, the game does something to uh, <laughs> to make things not make sense. And we just got to accept it. Bailey over to Hickman. They say, I mean, we're just, it's like we're not even playing. We're like, like we're standing still and they're just walking around behind, you know, around us. It, it genuinely makes zero sense here. Oh well, like I said, we're just gonna shake it off. I mean, this this happens. It's it's a thing with the, I don't know, with the way the engine runs or something. Or I don't know. I don't have an explanation other than it's just one of those things that happens from time to time. I'm sure you guys have seen it as well. I mean, we got a consolation go back, I guess. for this highlight. We're going to do some subs here in just a moment, though. All right. Subs some people out. I mean, obviously, Hickman's having a terrible game. Um, I guess we'll bring in Jacob over there. Give him a shot to try and get something back. Steven's not playing very well. We'll bring... Uh, yeah, we'll bring Harkin on the side, I guess. And we'll just start with that for now. Uh, you know what? Actually, I just realized a quote is actually having a worse game. So we'll bring Harkin on the side that I prefer him to be on anyway. Look, if we get like another goal or two, I'll, I'll probably call that a, a bit of a victory for us. 
three goals in a game. We'll feel pretty good. Well, like I said, we just need to ignore ignore the five goes. It happens. There's Stevens. Pitch, oh, there you go. See? Pinchard getting us another goal. Be happy with the good things that we're seeing. I oh, actually got deflected by one of their players. All right, last sub here. Don't really have anybody that can come in any specific specific plot, spot. I mean, I guess we could bring Bobos out, maybe, and bring us a strong midfielder. Uh, if we're gonna bring, Riley, yeah, you know what? Just bring Riley over there. We'll have Riley and Sharif play to play together. Corner kick coming from Pinchard. Rez there. Here comes Roberts. Oh, good, good catch. Palmer. Sharif is there. Not able to get control. Oh, there we go. Good takeaway by Sharif. Making some moves. Gets over to Pinchard. Bailey with the ball. Tries to get up to Stevens. Not oh, there we go. Stevens is going to get across to Harkin. <laughs> oh, nice. That's his first go, actually. Come on, Terrell. Shake it off, buddy. I know you had a bad game, but it's all good. Jacob up to Harkin. Harkin is going to get taken away, unfortunately. There's Ailman, who's been the guy that's been running circles around us. Okay. Take away by Bailey. Pinchard with the ball. Cross to Harkins in there, but not able to get on that one. I mean, it is what it is at this point. All right, well, I'm going to call that a win, to be perfectly honest, uh, because, I mean, stat-wise, we were, we were fine. We were right there neck and neck with them. Um, the seven goals, is it, it's just, there's something there's something goofy going on there. That's, it is what it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we, we held in there. We actually had, our, our goals looked good, so I think we're going to take take something from that. I mean, at the end of the day, I could have seen us losing four to three. Seven to three, I, again, I'm, I'm going to ignore, ignore the big number there because I don't think it's actually accurate to what what should have actually happened there. I mean, I guarantee you Kater Mr. hasn't scored that many goals this whole season, right? Ah, they scored six up here. Oh, no, it's us. I'm sorry. What, why come I didn't show me Kater Mr.? I think I had the wrong thing. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Um, yeah, so they haven't scored. They scored five goals against Buxton. That was the most... But uh, I mean that was their obviously by far their best game. A little bit, little bit unusual for sure. Um, so again, not really going to stress it. 
just need to shake it off and uh, come back and do something better. All right. Well, again, I'm pretty happy with the way we're going. Um, we got we're in second place right now. Um, only one point behind Darlington. I think we can catch them. I think we again. I think we are as of right now probably one of the best teams in the league. So we should be able to uh, chase down some of these other teams and uh, make a pretty good run for it. So there we go. I do appreciate you guys watching though. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.